Uh. So this is the build up I'm getting guys after about seven, eight goes of applying this product. Don't know if you look and see. Stop the madness. I don't know what to do, I feel, feel depressed. You said you looked at my back and I looked at it. You looked at my back. There's a lot of kickback. Then put you a gun for it. La my fat. Yeah. You sound stressed. <laughs> guys, I have some words to talk. Bonjour. Hello. Hello. Bon dia. Wagwan. It's me, Harrison. Okay. Alrighty. We're doing a review today, guys. This is Stay Still. I'm sorry if the camera keeps wobbling this. So we're gonna do a review today on the brand MUA. So I have a whole bunch of goodies here. Here, I'm just gonna basically just uh, put them on my face. I'm gonna put them on my face. All right, so I think we're gonna start with the eyes first, okay? I don't have an eyebrow product. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Brow since I don't have anything from MUA. Unfortunately, from my eyebrows, I did have it. I bought it, I used it up because I did get it a while ago. So I've had this collection here for a few months, I just haven't got around to actually recording, so. So, as you can see, I've done this eye. Sorry, I'm shouting. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's my friend there, she's just in the background. I've done this eye off camera. I will do the rest of the face, the complexion, all the other products that I have in front of me. But just to show you how this lovely palette works, let's dive in. So, first of all, we're gonna use the P. Louise base. Yeah. It's in the shade Rumor One. I did put it all over the lid, like so. Press, press, press. Ah. Sorry guys. <laughs> so I'm just chucking this base all over the lid just to create something for the eyeshadow to stick to. I say that for a reason guys. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna start off with this shade here. The lighter in the palette. Let me do the thing you two just do. So I'm just gonna pop this under my eyebrow, just all over there, a little bit like that. Da, 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 a little tap tap, a little bit in the inner corner just to brighten. You see? Actually looks alright. Why is it working now? Plata, yeah, what's it working on that minute ago? So now we're gonna use the little peachy shade here. And I'm just gonna pop this in the in the crease. You know, just like so. With the swishy 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 all the way in just to use this as a bit of a gradient shade. Guys, do you see it? Exactly. It's quite nice if you just want like a little, little something to get rid of any, any like redness or discoloration on the eyelid. But other than that, it was a bit of an effort to get this look. Now this bit guys, we're just gonna literally jump in from here to here, alternate between these just to get some depth in the crease. Oh good. This is really hard. Doing a good job. No, you're judgy judge. <laughs> so guys, do you see like I'm mixing both of those two shades together. Now there is a lot of kickback in the pan. I don't know if you can actually see, but there's so much kickback. So I'm just really working those two shades in. And even then, there's not that much pigment pigment being shown up on the camera, unfortunately. Also in person, right Owen? Yeah, I would agree. She's like Jiminy Cricket, isn't she? You know, little <laughs> voice in the back of your mind. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really, really just building this colour up, guys. I'm really trying to work it and create some some kind of depth in the corner just to create a little bit of a gradient, but I'm going to move on to a smaller brush now. All these brushes, I don't know what they are. This is an Inglot brush, 19p. I used to work there a long time ago. It was a good old company to work for, but um, I actually think I stole this brush, to be honest. I did, I did, I had it in my brush belt. Come on guys, all you MUAs, we all know that when you work for a makeup counter, you walk in and you have the brushes in your belt and you're like, oh, I'm gonna wash my brushes at home. You take them home, you wash them and then you're like, Oops. you know, and you just take a couple little, you know, chuck a few little, you know, I'll keep that for later. I mean, the reason I chose MUA is because um, obviously the really good price point, it's very accessible to everyone. It's in Superdrug. 
Um, and it's really affordable. It's just a really, really nice brand. You know what I mean? So obviously now in a pandemic, coronavirus, people are losing their jobs. We all need makeup and we all have limited funds. So MUA is the one to go. Can you pass my white, please? And I'm using the two deeper shades now. Really trying to build it up into the crease. I'm just gonna apply it. Oh, gonna apply this shade here. On me old outer corner. See, that's all right there. That color's working. Got a little bit of definition. Don't know if you lot can see. But I'm just gonna really apply it in this area. Is that even, Stephen? You'll see, look at the difference. Look at the state. Stop the madness. Guys, what's your favorite product from MUA? Sound off in the comments below. <laughs> I really like their complexion stuff, actually. I think their powders and their foundation is really good. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna clean up this outer corner. Create a little bit of a shape. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, I feel, feel depressed. Oh. Keep on working at it. Yeah, everyone's gained weight. Are you looking at my fat? That's no, what you're no, doing. Much to do, much to do. You looked at my fat and said that. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying you looked at my fat and said that, though, didn't you? Tell me. You look... No, I didn't. You said you looked at my fat and then I looked at it. You looked at my fat. <laughs> you made me look at it because you're pointing at it. I didn't put you at gunpoint. Ah, my fat. <laughs> Guys, this is one of those looks like when like you really. Have an ugly man at home, <laughs> and you, you just can't make that much effort, and you just you just want to get out of the house. Do you know what I mean? Just want to chuck a bit of shut and shut them on the face, right? So now I'm going to use <laughs> the peachy shade here. I'm just going to pop that on the lid now. So this is going to be my main lid color. So I'm just going to pop, 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 do, 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 and get a bit clone for. The fucking pubs are closed. <laughs> You're going to be in this video. Yeah. Damn! Put your oh. hands in the air. Like you just don't, don't care. care. <laughs> yeah. You sound stressed. <laughs> I'm really yeah. I'm really struggling to get something out of the shadow, guys. Like I really I love MUA as a brand, honestly. It's really accessible. And do you know what? A lot of their stuff are very, very, very pigmented. But the six shade soft matte suede palette, personally, is not cutting it for me. It's just not the best. It's not hitting. <laughs> Fancy beauty, guys. Eyeliner. Now, I will try to do it on camera, but I probably will just cut it off because I'm really, 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 really bad at doing my eyeliner. But let's give it a little whirl, shall we? Let's give it a little bit of a whirl. Can you see a middle? Orange. It's popped on. Uh, guys, I can't. I'm gonna do this off camera, okay? But you'll see, you'll see that I know when it's done. So, guys, this is the look I've done so far. So, I've just done a soft, beigey, kind of grey, smoky eye with the Suede's palette. It is a beautiful palette. The colours are lovely. I did have a bit of trouble transferring pigment, even with the eyeshadow base. So, that is just the only sort of um, information I will give on that. Oh, by the way, sorry. I use uh, my Fenty liner. The eyelashes I have on are Prima Lash Lashes. Oh, give me one second. The Prima Lash Lashes are from this lash book that I have. It's called the Lash Vault. And the pair that I've used are the ones at the bottom. And they are called Golds. Yes. So I'm going to use now the Pro Base with um, gold flecks inside it. So this is a primer oil. I'm going to be super, super hydrating. <clears throat> Let me open it. I'm going to use this as a base before my makeup. Mm. Now guys, I'm really here for a dewy complexion, especially in winter when everyone is feeling super dry. The weather's a bit more cold and chilly, the air's a lot more cold and thin. So I really love the primer oil, to be honest. I love the feeling of it. This, for me, is a winner. Absolutely love this. It feels really, not greasy, it just feels like almost like a serum, like a serum kind of finish, which I really, really like. 
I now chose the Pro Base Foundation in the shade 146. I'm gonna give this a whole fair go. I literally guesstimated the shade. I don't know how I chose the shade, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna pack it on because I want a really full... <laughs> I really want a full coverage look, but um, I feel like because I fake tanned yesterday, I'm, I, I think the shade might be a little bit too light for me. It looks a little a tad light, doesn't it, darling? We will see, won't we? We will see, won't we? We will see. Let me get a sponge. Oh, guys, this is really light, isn't it? Guys, this is a really, really thick foundation. I can tell you now the coverage is there, guys. Alrighty. I don't have a setting powder to set this, but I'm going to set it with the foundation powder that I got, because I did buy two foundation powder shades. This is really light, but it's going to work. We'll make it work, babes. We'll make it work. So I'm going to go around my eyebrow like so. So guys, first impression on this um, foundation. Sorry about my friend in the background. She's, she's got us a little drinky drink. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> oh God, sorry, I'm covering the camera. Yeah, she's got us a little drinky drink because uh, since we're in lockdown. The pubs are closed! <laughs> the pubs are closed! This is super light. It's a super light. It's really not my shade, to be honest. But you know, we're going to make it work. I did buy a bronzer from the company as well. So we're going to try out their bronzer. The bronzer I did choose was Bronze Shimmering Bronze. Let's see how that works. But this foundation's great, guys. I love it. It's got a nice velvety finish. It's not too dry. It's not too cakey. Like, it doesn't make your skin feel like it's sucking the life out of it. I would say the coverage on this product is probably a, me a good medium. I'd say a medium. I, would never, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage, to be honest. You could definitely build it up to a full coverage, but... At this present minute, we're gonna stick with the little, a little cutie kind of, kind of medium vibe. So guys, I really like this foundation. As you can see, I'll get really close. It's super smooth. It's not cakey looking, but to be honest, I think the primer oil really helps. Guys, um, in the comments below, can everyone tell me what is your favorite winter foundation? I really want a really good hydrating foundation that's long wearing. If it, Hello, um, <laughs> towel on the door. If anyone can tell me in the comments what they'd recommend, I, I, you know you just want something nice, something velvety that gives a really nice coverage, but isn't like dry and cakey. <laughs> I find myself in winter, I actually wear more of a fuller coverage foundation, whereas in the summer I don't. But the thing is in winter there's like no sun and I don't know. I, I don't know why we all wear more coverage in winter when, especially when no one's really going out in winter, are they? Unless you're doing Christmas parties and stuff. Lockdown! Lockdown! <laughs> Locky down, down! Oh, we don't know if we're allowed to drink on YouTube. Uh, you can't show the brown. Huh? You can't really show the brown. You have to, like, drink in a red cup or something. <laughs> it's not alcohol, guys. I promise. Alright, so we've got a really, really light concealer here, guys. I have the Pro Base Concealer by MUA. It says full coverage. We're gonna see. Ugh, my mum just rang. So guys, today, the day of me recording this video is officially, whoa! Do you know what, if you like that 2000s Kim Kardashian bright under eye, you're gonna get it with this, innit? Love a bitch of bright eye. What's it gonna say? I don't remember. Remember, tell me. You better tell me. Today is the official first day of lockdown, isn't it? No, it's the second. What? It's day two, baby. Oh, is it day two? Day two. Oh, sorry, I've been stuck inside. I ain't really been like, <laughs> been, been with the times, you know what I'm saying? So I'm literally just gonna press this into the skin. Press, press, press. Press, 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 press. Listen, I love Cardi B. Cardi B. Okay. She's my life. Like, Cardi B is my babes. Sorry if everyone here is a barb. I love, I like, I like looking at you. They're gonna come after you. <laughs> Mm. Guys, this concealer. It's looking beautiful. Look at that. That is super, super nice. Super that cute. has got rid of all the dark circles oh. in the world. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get the placement right because I did put quite a lot on. But that's just right, that in two skin. Yeah, so guys, what's everyone doing for lockdown? Going to learn language? Everyone's going to be on that bandwagon of working out again? Yeah, because I most certainly ain't. It's winter. In winter, all we do is eat. Yeah, we eat. And drink. All we do is and eat. And eat. And eat some more. Eat some more. 
know? We need that winter fat, you know what I'm saying? It's winter. getting colder. Do you want to be in this bloody video, yeah? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> right, so we're just putting a wee bit down in oils, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 16 minutes, yeah. Hi guys, we're back! We're talking about porn. Guys, sorry about that, um, my, my memory ran out so I had no space. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to use the Pro Base Foundation Powders now all over the skin. Just to mattify, set it, get it all where it needs to be. And then we just rub out some of these little crinkly wrinklies. Guys, I'm looking really, really freaking pale, aren't I? Looking super pale, totally <laughs> white. So guys, I'm just I'm going to use a lighter shade now in um, 110. I'm just going to actually pop that under my eyes. I know my face is very bright already, I know, but just just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it. God, I've completely changed shade, haven't I? I'm back. I'm back, guys. So I've done the foundation. Look at the, the screen moving. Stay still. I've done the foundation, so now we're going to use the bronzed um, MUA powder. It's pretty. This is supposedly going to give you a bit of shine. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see see what happens here. Give it a little uh, little cheeky, try and get some colour back. Ooh. Ooh, hello! There she is, back in the room. Oh, oh cool. Oh, cool. Girl, this bronzer is fuego. This bronzer is nice, this bronzer is lit, this bronzer is dominant for me. Guys, the bronzer, hello. It's so I hate this, I really hate this word, but so buttery. This is taking me away from looking like a freaking, like a bloody ghost to looking like a bronze goddess from Dubai, even though I'm not from Dubai. Talk in the comments, where do you think I'm from? Guys, this will be interesting, huh? Where do you think I'm from? What do you think my background is? You won't get it. So guys, this is the bronzer. I'm bronzing up for the gods, darling. We're making sure we're bronzed and glowy, darling. Yeah. It's better than yours, you're damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. This is the bronzer. She has brought me to life. She's given me all the bronze realness that I need for this 10 head, man. This 10 head is licking, licking it up, soaking it up, giving it, getting it, got it, baby. What do you think? I'm not contouring, I'm not contouring kind of chick, but. <laughs> Let me get under my eyes. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna literally. Can you go away? Don't you know that I'm recording? I'm just gonna literally put these two shades under my eyeballs and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna go back into the number seven. <laughs> the number seven mascara. I'm just from, gonna pop some of that. From Boots. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Available in Boots. So wax some of that under my eyeballs. Now I have this really bad issue with my bottom lashes when ever I put it on, I always get mascara under my eyes. Am I, sh am I the only one that gets that? Oh, where do you get that? I have no eyelashes. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> oh god. All right. No, even if I do my bottom lashes, if I ever did it, it'd look stupid. Why? Because I don't have. It's not really long. It looks like it looks like it gets all clunky, and it looks disgusting. Mhm. Mm trying out the light lust jar, um, liquid highlight, and I'm just gonna pop some of that on my nose and on my cheekbones. Darling. Ooh, looking cute, looking glowy, glowy, baby girl. I'm just gonna put some on my hand. I'm just gonna press it on my cheeks and see how that works. I put a lot of powder on, so this is actually a really, really deciding moment here. Because if it goes all coagulated, then it's a problem. I'm feeling, ooh. Yes, honey. Ooh, la la. That looks good, it's so dewy, oh my goodness. I like that, I really like this. Do you know what I haven't done guys, I haven't put the prices, I'm so sorry. I'll put all the links down for the products down below or I'll write them down, because maybe some of them are not in stock, but I will do that anyway. Oh girl, she's glowing, she's pretty, oh sh oh. Let's get the lips on, don't know what I'm gonna do. All I got is this. Um, I'm not really sure if this colour is going to work, to be honest. It looks quite, it's a bright pink. Should I do it? Should I just do it just for shits and giggles? 
It's not really a full shape though, is it? That's the super stylo satin finish, so it's gonna be quite... Do you know what, let's, let's give it a go. We'll give it a go, and if it doesn't work, then that's it, it doesn't work, innit? God, it's very Barbie, innit? Hmm. Not really sure how that's working. Do you know what? No. I'm not. Mm, I'm not doing that. I'm taking it off. <sighs> Actually, no. Do you know what? Let me, let me, just, let me just do it. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? It's very hydrating. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels like like a really creamy lipstick, but I'll be honest, I thought it was gonna be more of um, like a like a nudie pink, but it's very, very bright. So, I thought, do you know what, I look like Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> Liza! Hmm. All right guys, do you know what, this concludes the look. This concludes the look, and I will get back to you guys with the next video with some new products. I really love the MU brand. The products have worked fantastic. Give or take the nude eyeshadow palette, which did need a little bit of work, but maybe it's just maybe it's just my eyes. Do you know what I mean? Hello. Hi. Hey. I'm recording. Don't you look handsome? So, <laughs> no. We have. The, the pink lips. Yeah, we have the nice brows. Yeah. Close your eyes. Uh, uh, look at you, open them slowly. <laughs> Ooh! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this concludes the look. We'll list all the products down below. MUA, great products, very good price point. The quality is amazing. I can say that I love literally everything. Maybe just not the nude suede eyeshadow palette. But um, guys, I do have another one if you want a video. This one can be in the next video. So if you guys want this, let me know. Sound off in the comments what kind of look you want me to do. I'm really sorry the lip didn't work. I agree. I just bought it. It was the only shade I bought, but I'm going to keep it strictly just with MUA. Anyway. So, yes. Hope to see you soon. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Please subscribe. If you can subscribe to my channel, I really need followers, I'm new. So if you wanna see more content, if you wanna help me on this journey, grow my confidence, just subscribe, turn on the notification bell. There's my sister. Bye.